Today I'll be showing cut sheets inside of Carlson software. You'll go to survey, cut sheets. In here, we'll go ahead and import our points, but you could also use a note file, raw file, or serve CE cut sheets. I'll pick on points and I'll pick back a curb.crd, pick open. I'm going to use a range between 197 and 262, so I pick OK. And it loads my points. My next step is to compare those points to a 10 file. That's what I'm going to use, which I'll grab my existing ground. But there's other options in here like points, grid file, 3D polyline, cross sections, road templates. I want to make sure I get offsets. So what I'll do here is pick on a centerline file but I could also pick polyline or two points. So I'll pick on back a curve for my centerline file. And then I go to report and pick on create report. And here, this is where you can load your standards and to, there's three files that you would need to load after you set up your standards. In here, I can go to import and I'll tell you, you you're, gonna, you're going to overwrite what you have now, which I'll pick yes. And what you're going to be looking for is a .fms file. So you would pick it and pick open. And what that sets is your descriptions, offset, station, uh, stake elevation, grade elevation, cut fill, and comment. So it puts this in the correct order. The other two settings is under these settings, field options. And in here, you would go ahead and hit import and you would grab the .fds file. So you would pick open. And that would set up like your report as far as company name, uh, image, if you have an image like a symbol that you want to put in there, uh, job number, that information. Now our next option is under attribute options. And in here I will import a attribute option. So you, make, you have to make sure you check that on and then pick continue. And then you're going to grab a UAO file. So you'll just grab it and pick open and then pick OK. Now when I go to report, I'm going to pick on report viewer, which will give me my, my paper size, my margins, and you can change these out. I'll keep mine just like they are and pick OK. It brings up another box which allows me to change the project number, uh, project name, um, what the name of the cut sheet is, who prepared it, who staked it, and who checked it. So all this in the white box you can edit out. Once you have this the way you want it, you can pick OK, and it creates your cut sheet. Now from this point, if you pick on export up here, you can export it to Word, Excel, or Acrobat PDF. So what you would do is just pick on here, save it out, give it a name, and we can just call this uh, cut sheet. I'll call it cut sheet two. Pick save, and it makes a PDF file for you. And that concludes today's movie on cut sheets. Thank you.